Hi, I'm Elizabeth Leeds and welcome to Gravity Clubhouse. We're featuring the garage clips that's going to focus on Pilates, Reformat Amplified. We're going to focus in on the section where you're supine with the arm pulley. Here's Devora, and what we're going to do is we're going to give you some tips if you're working with someone who's a beginner and someone who's in advance. Now when you've been working with this section, you know they've been using the arm cables. And the arm cables can challenge stability and can also show discrepancies. And some people can get frustrated with the fact that they're not performing the ex exercises smoothly or it's not giving them the correct resistance to help them do what they need to do or it's too little resistance but you don't want to bring it up. So you're kind of struggling with the beginner client as to where do I need to put them or where do I need to set the incline level. Well, first of all, what I've done with clients like that or participants, I've taken away the pulleys from them and then I increase the incline level. So what I'm going to do here is kind of show you what I would do if Devora was someone who's completely new. So first, I would increase the incline level, which she's happy with, because when I increase the incline level without the cables, that's going to help her few <laughs> to roll up and to perform that ab crunch. So I'm going to have you stand here on the platform, and you're going to take a seat down. You're going to roll back. And then from here, her feet would be on the standing platform, or they can be on the glide board, whichever one. It's whatever you're more comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And then she's slowly going to roll up. And from here, you can go through your entire 100 series. Now, for the triceps press, you're not going to get, obviously, that much resistance because you don't have any resistance to your hands. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to have you add resistance. So let's say now that you understand that if you have a beginner client, they're doing the 100, she can do arm circles here. And you can roll up to the teaser. But obviously, she can do this. <laughs> She's doing it so well that now we're going to challenge her even more. So the beginner, again, we can then incorporate back the arm cables. But what I've seen here is that the strength still isn't there, and there's some discrepancies, whether one side's stronger than the other in the obliques. So how do I challenge her? I give weights. Now, if you have a Pilates ball like this, you can use that, or you can just use a general hand weight. They're just, both of these are two pounds. So she's going to get the lovely experience of having two different kinds of weights <laughs> in her hands. And she's going to do the 100 here. Now, our legs can stay down because she is higher. Remember, there's a point that you transition where the higher you go, it actually becomes more challenging once the legs are up. So it counterbalances the fact that it's easier to come up. And I'm sure you've done 1,000 by now. <laughs> so for the tricep section, when you're doing triceps press with arm pulley, she can stay lifted in her head, or she can come to the point where her elbows are bent, and she goes into a triceps press. Very nice. And then continuing on with the theme, she would roll up, arms come down to the sides. She can go down, you can roll back just a little bit more because now you still have arm circles to do. But she just wants to get through and get through the <laughs> teaser. And then you can come all the way up into your teaser. She demonstrates beautifully. Huh. All right, <laughs> nice. So now that you have the beginner happy and successful, that's the whole point of Gravity Pilates, we now want to challenge them one more time, right? So what you can do is put their feet onto the standing platform. She's going to stand up. I'm going to have you step off. I am going to lower the incline level down because I'm now incorporating back the arm cable and arm pulley. So what we're going to do is set herself up for success. I'm going to have you straddle. I'm going to have you walk back and grab these cables. Beautiful. Now remember, if you're teaching a class or doing it all by themselves, you're going to slowly scoot down. She's going to slowly roll back. Beautiful. And now just for a demonstration, arms come to the sides. Now how do we increase the intensity? Well, she curls her upper body up, continues with the pump or the triceps press or arm circles. But so we don't fatigue you out completely, we'll keep it the 100 because that's a little easier. Now to make this even more challenging for your participants, again, remember that tabletop position with the legs. So one leg comes up, one leg comes up. Again, remember to challenge it again. You bring the legs up first to the ceiling because you're on that incline angle. And then you start to bring the legs out in front of you, which she's so happy with. <laughs> if she's curled up, the abdominals are still flexed. But if I tell her to bring her head down with her legs out, the abdominals lengthen out, it's eccentric load, it's quite, quite challenging. So remember, even though the participant who's really advanced may think, i got to keep my head up, challenge them one step further by bringing their head down. So hopefully you can bring your feet down for me. 
I'm just going to let you rest. As I say, hopefully these little tips help you out with those participants who are beginning or who have been doing Pilates for a while to bring them up to the next step to meet their fitness goals.